Tens of thousands of Congolese have fled their villages. The M23 rebel group has made many advances and attacks. Many of the displaced have fled to Mugunga camps where aid is sorely lacking. The World Food Programme is struggling to fund its operations in the DRC's volatile east. You can find a family of 10 and out of these 10 people, they only give food to five of them. It's not enough. This portion cannot feed us until the end of the month. Our wish is to have enough to live. The program has rescued more than 900 children from malnutrition in the past 10 months. The UN Food Agency has been hit by a funding shortfall because of budget constraints in economically stagnant donor countries. At the Mugunga refugee camp, where more than 50,000 displaced people live crowded together under white tents, hundreds of mothers line up to get food for their children. We are happy with the flour, but they are giving us less than they used to. They said they would give us 6.5 kg, but they have given only 5 kg. Security remains fluid here as the M23 battles are ongoing. The population just wants to go back home. The problem is not having humanitarian aid. Clothes, shoes and all these are accessories. In DRC, the World Food Programme must come up with 70 million US dollars to fund its operations for the next six months. The food agency had planned to give food aid to 4.2 million people in the vast Central African country by the end of 2015.